Hey folks, Scott Browdy here. I wanted to make a quick video for all my fellow musicians out there during this crazy time. Obviously, we're in an industry that depends on getting large groups of people together, and our industry is gonna be one of the last to come back. That's the reality, and we just gotta deal with it. However, it is entirely possible to make good income online as a musician. I've been doing this for years, I'm gonna show you how it's done. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna assume a couple of minimum requirements. One, you've already put in the work as a musician, and you have at least a couple of fans. And two, you have some way of recording yourself, whether it's a USB mic into GarageBand or something more sophisticated than that. If you don't have a way of recording yourself, you need to get one. A USB mic runs about 100 bucks. GarageBand is free with Max. There's probably a free version for PC as well. And that's honestly all you need nowadays. Most people are gonna listen to their music on their phones anyway. Now, with that disclaimer out of the way, here's the overall game plan. You're gonna think of yourself as a record label and do everything that a record label does, just on a smaller scale. So let's talk about what a record label traditionally does. A record label will cover the recording and manufacturing costs of an album. A record label will provide worldwide distribution of an album. A record label will assist with marketing and publicity. A record label will sometimes cover touring as well. Now, we're gonna take these four things and we're gonna come up with a free internet-based alternative for each one of them. This is gonna be kind of our 21st century record label toolkit. First, we need a way of covering our recording and manufacturing costs. Lucky for you, if you made it this far, you already own the recording equipment. And we're not gonna make CDs, we're gonna sell our music online, so there's gonna be no manufacturing costs. However, we're still gonna raise money for this step because it serves another vital function. It acts as a pre-sale of our music. To do this, we're gonna use a crowdfunding site. There's a few to choose from. There's Patreon, there's Kickstarter, there's Indiegogo, GoFundMe, etc. I personally like Patreon because the emphasis is on creating consistent work over time and not just a one-time album. A note on that, we're not gonna release an album, at least in the traditional sense. It makes no sense to do that if our goal is to generate reliable income over time. Instead, we're gonna release a steady stream of singles and then group them into an album later. This is the way that you optimize your income for music. Patreon is perfectly set up to do this. You can choose different reward tiers and offer some different rewards, whether it's physical, whether it's personalized things like phone calls. I'm not gonna show you how Patreon works, just go to their website. Now, once you launch this Patreon, share it all over your social media and your email list of friends and family, but give an explicit goal of what you're trying to create. Don't just say, give me money. Help them to see the vision of what you're trying to make. At first, you might not get much. Maybe you get $20 a month. That's still great. Remember, you already own the recording equipment. You're not making a physical album. So that $20 actually represents $20 of guaranteed profit for you. It's a start. At this point, you should record your first song. It can be anything. It can be an original, it can be a cover, it can be an instrumental. It could be a cover of you and your celebrity friends singing Imagine. I don't know. But whatever you do, you should keep it simple production-wise and let your talent be heard. Authenticity is key. That's what's gonna make people wanna root for you. If you're new to recording, you might wanna watch some tutorials or have a friend guide you through the process, but the goal is simply to get a nice recording of yourself that doesn't hurt people's ears to listen to. Next, we need to get worldwide distribution and get our music on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, etc. You probably already know how to get your music on YouTube, but for the others, you're gonna to need to use a distributor. DistroKid, CD Baby, TuneCore, these are the 21st century music distributors that we're gonna use. All of them have different pros and cons, so look into them and figure out which makes the most sense for you. In general, we wanna have our music on as many platforms as we can. Now, a note about royalties, particularly streaming royalties. They're horrible. That's why we're not gonna waste six months making an album. That makes no sense right now. However, there's one circumstance where streaming royalties aren't horrible, and that's when you have lots and lots of releases. When you have lots and lots of releases, you can combine them in different ways to increase both the odds of getting discovered and also the amount of time that each listener spends listening to you. You can even make one big playlist that people use as a soundtrack of their day, generating royalties this whole time. This way, one listener can be generating royalties for you for hours out of the day, instead of the 40 or 50 minutes it takes to stream an album. With enough listeners, this adds up. The way to accomplish this is to release singles often, maybe once a week, because let's face it, none of us have much to do right now. Now, we're still gonna release albums because there's a lot of music fans that enjoy owning albums only we're gonna wait until we have about 12 or so singles released and then group them into an album. That way we can be getting a nice little bump every week in royalties when we release a new single and an additional bump at the end when we release an album. As we release more and more singles that gets grouped into more and more albums, we can start playlisting them and before long we have a nice healthy discography that's generating passive income this whole time. Next, let's talk about marketing and publicity. 
Now, this is a much larger topic of discussion. In fact, I go into it in great detail in my book, shameless plug, but let me give you a basic overview right here. We're not gonna do any paid advertising anywhere. That makes no sense unless you're a big act with a lot of money to spend. Instead, we're going to engage our existing fan base to get more patrons, downloads, and streams, and hopefully pick up new fans along the way as well. What does this engagement look like? It could be sharing a picture of something that inspires you. It could be pulling your audience to find out what song you should cover next. It could be going live to share your creative process with your fans. Each time you do this, you're gonna let people know where they can find your music or your Patreon. You're not telling them to buy it or stream it, you're just letting them know that it's something they can do. Now, you might feel like you're annoying people by promoting your work, but you need to get over that if your goal is to make real income as a musician. Look at me, let go of the idea of being a starving artist. A lot of the musicians that we uphold as legends today were actually incredibly savvy marketers. By engaging your fans this way, you're bringing them on your journey as an artist, and in turn, they're investing in you. If you have 100 diehard fans, there's no question you can make a great income as a musician. You just have to put in the work. Lastly, we're gonna create a reasonable substitution for touring. Now, in the online world, the idea of touring simply means monetizing a shared live experience with your fans. There's a couple ways to do this online. Stage It is hands down the best game in town for doing virtual concerts from your living room. It's truly an amazing and underappreciated resource. In addition, you can offer things like Skype lessons or even virtual meet and greets over Zoom. Those have potential to get kind of weird, but it's worth a shot. Overall, the process looks like this. Crowdfund, create, distribute, market, perform, repeat. Of course, like in all things, consistency is key. That's why you have to be serious about making your living this way. If you do stay consistent though, you'll pick up more and more fans and make more and more royalties every time you move through the cycle. You'll become that snowball rolling down the hill or whatever the metaphor is. And at a certain point, you'll have built enough momentum to truly have a profitable online business that you can rely on when times get tough. Now get to work and let's get through this time together.